guys, I'm working on the bottom bit now, so I'm just going to go across and start layering the bottom part too. Okay. And this is using the Fairy Rhymes papers um, and the Lyric, so it's the Prima kit from um, Violet Divine. It's a really great kit because, as you guys know here, um, it's a bit harder to find certain brands. So, um, being able to get it and at such a cheap price, even if I wasn't on the design team, I'd be buying off them. And Jamie's absolutely, she's just wonderful. Okay. So I'm just going to add this now. Okay. Let's just move that out of the way. I don't know if it needs any more. What do you guys think? That's what I've done so far. It's not stuck in that corner. What do you guys think? I'm thinking of just adding that there. So it's just going to be a bit different to the top. Okay. Can I glue this down now? This is a medallion that I had in my kit. Uh, in my stash. <laughs> These guys knew what I meant. I love my metal. And I wanted to add it on the top bit as you guys saw, but I didn't like it on the top bit. Okay. Just want it peeking through the medallion. So I'm thinking of having like that there. Yep, love that. So the metal will peek through behind the flowers. Love it. Probably should have put my holes in, but it doesn't matter, I'll do it at the end. Because it's going to be attached to each other, so it's like a door swing tag like I normally do. I just love my dual swing tags. I think they just turn out so nice. Okay. So that's going to be the two attached. So that's that so far. And then there's the top half. Okay. I'm wondering what else I can add to this. Like that. Let me just add a couple things. I do do that. And even after I stop filming, I add things. <laughs> you look at it and go, hmm, still missing something. So I'm just going to get my things ready and then I'll be up to the spraying. So okay. I'm just going to add these on each side. So I've just cut a bit and I'm just going to add it to the bottom tag. So I'm just going to lift that up a bit and get that, poke that out each side. And it sort of disappears at the moment but it'll pop up when I've started spraying. So I'm just going to cut the other side. 
and I'm going to do the same. And I want it to be straight, so I might pop that off for a second and glue it. And I'll just glue this again because I don't know if the glue's dried by now. And I'm just going to attach that down again. I don't want them to be in a straight line. Okay. So I'm going to glue that down. And there we are. So I've got the canvas resist coming out each side. Okay, so I'm going to stop the camera and I'll get all the spraying stuff ready. I'm going to start doing this. I've actually got my heat gun as a tip. I keep my heat gun on a hook next to my desk. Now, because I do meet lots of mixed media and lots of spraying of my flowers and stuff, it's just easier and more accessible to have it plugged in and ready to go. Okay, I'm going to grab my sprays. So I might start with the brown and the blue first because they're my favourites. So this is Treasured Him by Shimmers in the Spritz, but this comes in the Prima kit with Violet Divine. These all do, as I've said at the beginning. So this one here is Seafoam, Cotton Candy, and this one's Treasured Him. And then down here is Sunny Side Up, and it's just a little paint pot in the pearls. So these are colour and light, light colour, light shimmer. Okay, so I'm just going to start. I'm a bit nervous because I've never really done anything like this before. And I love it as it is already, but we'll just go with it. I might love it more after I'm done. Okay, let's start with the brown. randomly and I'm just going to heat set that so it's see not I've sprayed them I've just sprayed a little bit darker in some spots because I did actually water them down um, to make the colors a bit lighter for this because I wanted them to be pastel -y. so the colors are a little bit stronger in person um, so I just sprayed it a couple times just to give it a darker pattern okay so now I'm going to spray with the sea foam just shaking it all up and getting all that wonderful shimmer off the bottom this is my favourite colour. I just want to get into all those crevices. Okay, I'm just going to hit set that and I'll be right back. So we're going to just incorporate now just a bit of pink. Just a bit. Not much. But I'm loving how it's looking. It's just about getting that level right. And you have to spray many times to get to that level. And then you've got to blend the colours in so they sort of blend from lightest to darkest. But you want them to sort of look like they're blending not like they're two colors sitting next to, next to each other so as you can see I've sort of blended it and then kept blending so you've got to sort of work on it and spray multiple times you can't just spray once and that's it unfortunately okay I'm just gonna tap that for a second let me just tidy up as I go Okay. 
just can hold it up. That might be a bit easier. Okay, and then down here. You just don't want the pink too in your face. Okay, and I'm going to take my brown and get into all those crevices that don't have any colour. Okay. I'm just going to pop that over. I don't like it sitting on the sprays. Okay. And the same here, I'm just going to go over certain parts. As you can see, my bottle is starting to run low. And there's my tag. It's, it's coming together nicely, in it? And if you spray too much, just dab it with a cloth and it tones it down a bit, okay? So don't be like, oh my god, I've sprayed too much. So if you just go, I've sprayed too much, and it will tone it down a bit, okay? So I'm going to heat set that, and I'll be right back. Actually, until I, I'm just going to get in here. The thing is with spraying, over time, you're actually, um, you're going to have to get into all the cracks, because there is a lot in flowers. As you guys know, like there's a lot of um, different parts to a flower. Okay. So I'm just going to heat set that and hey I will guys, be back. Sorry, I'm just trying to fix my camera. Um, I'm just finishing off this one and then I'll be done. Okay. And then some more brown. And I'm just going to heat set that. And it does take a while to heat set, unfortunately. But like I said, you have to make sure you get in between all those petals because you don't really want white bits poking out. And then I would recommend after doing it, I hope you guys can hear me, I would recommend after doing it to put it outside in the sun, well not, directly in the sun but sort of just let it dry out a bit um, because it takes a while for everything to dry and just heat setting it won't get into all those layers sorry my heat gun's so annoying okay.
that's my bottom half and this is my top half so it'll go like that it is a bit like that but once I add to the back it will straighten up but that's it there hope you guys can see it all but I hope you guys like this technique and you can use it and um, let me know if you do use it. I'd love to see your projects. Be sure to send them to me, either to my Just Cards by Sarah site on Facebook, or to this um, to this page, or you could even send them to um, Violet Divine. Be sure to go check out their site. Like I said, they have wonderful stuff. They have the kits. Um, you won't regret going there. And I know they only have limited kits, so once they're gone, they're gone, and you won't get them again. Um, and like I said, these are the sprays that I've used today. And they are in the kit in the Prima spray add-on. But there is also another add-on which you can get the patina in, which has the washi. It has the dangles. These dangles here, which I've used one. The dangles, the that, and the washi and a stencil. This stencil here. Um, and then this one is another add-on which you can get which is in the Tutti Fruity. So there is many options with this and can you imagine the possibilities and the things you could create with them. But um, anyway, I will talk to you later and I'm so happy that um, I've been able to share this process with you. And I would like to do more, but um, let me know if you guys would be interested in it or not. Okay.